ebooks free from your library. In this video, we'll show you how to access both of the library's free services, Cloud Library and Libby, or Overdrive Library to Go. Both of these services allow you to have six items checked out and six items on hold at a time. Cloud Library is for Clackamas County only, so you'll often notice shorter wait times. However, Library to Go, or Libby, does offer a bigger range of materials. To access either, you'll need a library card from us. You can find an e-card on our website. You can register and get instant access to either of these services. You'll also find links to these two apps on our page for ebooks and e-audiobooks. Let's start by looking at Libby, a service of Overdrive. To get started, you'll download the free Libby app. You'll need your library card number and PIN number handy. You can search for our library by using a zip code search. Under the Oregon Digital Library Consortium, you'll find us in the L's, libraries in Clackamas County. After this, you'll input your library card number and PIN number. This will link your account with your library card. Now you can start searching. You can set up your preferences and say what types of materials you would like to see. You don't have to do this step, but it does let you only see those items you are most interested in seeing. Otherwise, you can go ahead and browse. You'll notice ebooks and audiobooks. Audiobooks will have a little set of headphones at the bottom of the cover. When you click on a title, you'll see if it's ready to borrow. And you can tap that borrow button and start reading. You'll also notice a plus sign next to each title that's available, telling you how many copies there are. Otherwise, you'll see a calendar letting you know that that book needs to be put on hold. Just like books in the library, sometimes you have to wait for a digital copy. You can take a closer peek at your shelf and see what books you have checked out and what books you're on hold for. Books that are available and ready for reading, you can tap and select how you'd like to read this material. Then you can flip through and enjoy your book. When you're all done back on your shelf, you can select to return a title. This allows you to check out an additional title and let someone else have the title that's waiting for it. Now let's take a look at the other service available, Cloud Library. You can find the Cloud Library app and download it for free. Again, like library to go you'll be asked some questions about where you are and what your local library is. You'll input your library card number and PIN, and then you can start browsing. Hitting the search button, you'll be taken to a screen to browse through titles. You can also set up your preferences of what kinds of books you would like to see. You can change these at any time, but selecting them will give you a quick guide of titles to look through. There are so many different genres to pick, you can be incredibly specific about the kinds of titles you would like to see. Again, audiobooks are indicated by a set of headphones in the corner. To see if titles are ready to be borrowed, just click. When you see that green borrow button, you can tap and start reading. Again, when you're done, you can hit the return button and this will allow someone else a chance to read this title. To place items on hold, just hit that hold button. You can manage this under your My Books section. From here, you can find titles you currently have checked out and read them or return them. You can also see items that you are waiting for. And you can also see your history of titles that you've borrowed in the past. I'm also a big fan of this saved feature. These are titles you know you might be interested in, but you're not quite ready for them yet. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We'd love to walk you through this. Happy reading.